What does a conductor do? Hi, I'm Diane Ellsworth. I'm a conductor on the One Line. I've been a conductor since 1992, and for several of those years, I've been working on the One Line. As a conductor, I assure that my personal protective equipment is functioning. I read the bulletin board to see if there are any changes. I have a conversation with my train operator regarding any service changes. We do make announcements informing customers of where we are, where our train is headed, and what our next stop will be. This is the Brooklyn Boundary train, 110 through the next. Stand clear to closing doors, please. We assure that there is no passengers or objects held in the train doors. Once we are sure that that has been done in the rear and the front section, we then give the train operator the indication to proceed. Conductors need to have good people skills. They need to be good communicators. They need to be focused. They need to be able to perform the same task over and over, day in, day out, at a consistently high level, and be prepared to respond to the unexpected. They have one of the toughest jobs in transit. They have responsibility for thousands of people that board and alight from a train as it goes from terminal to terminal. There are all sorts of emergencies that can occur in the subway system. For example, floods, smoke, power outages that would require an emergency evacuation. The most important aspects of any evacuation would involve providing RCC with timely and accurate information following their instructions. These situations require that we communicate in a calm but firm manner with our customers. One of the memorable times was there was a very early morning, snowy morning, there was an elderly gentleman on the platform and he was a little hesitant about getting on the train and something just didn't sit right. It was cold, snowy. So I went up to him and I asked him if he was okay and you know he didn't have on a coat and it was obvious that he was suffering from some type of dementia. He didn't know where he was, uh, couldn't answer who he was. So I was able to contact RCC. They had police meet us at the next station and it was nice to know that the elderly gentleman was gonna make it home and his family wouldn't be worried about him. The vast majority of them perform their duties with great professionalism, kindness, and a sense of their responsibility to their community very laudable.